What do you do to raise awareness for PAD? Where do you do this? PAD awareness, a question and topic near and dear to my heart. Before I answer the question of what do we do to raise awareness and where, I want to comment on the awareness. It's low and that's unfortunate. Let's look at two very uh, closely related diseases, PAD and CAD. Peripheral arterial disease, coronary artery disease. PAD is arterial occlusive disease of the legs. Coronary artery disease is arterial occlusive disease of the arteries in the heart. Same disease, different arteries, different parts of the body. CAD, the awareness is high. Everybody in America, in the Western countries knows. If you have chest pain, you might be having a heart attack. Go, see the, go to the ER, see the cardiologist. How does everybody know the management algorithm? <laughs> because the awareness of CAD is so high. How many patients, say a random grandma in America, knows that if she has chest pain, uh, I'm sorry, leg pain, boy, that might be PAD. Very few, very few. In fact, even amongst physicians, PAD is kind of low on their awareness level. And that's unfortunate because actually the prevalence of PAD is actually slightly higher than that of CAD. So one of our missions as, as a chain, as a team, as a company, is to raise awareness of PAD. We specialize in PAD. We want to raise awareness and hopefully patients and referring physicians will send those patients to us to evaluate and treat. But even if we don't get them, we're happy to raise awareness. And if one extra patient can be aware of PAD and get treated earlier than they would otherwise, maybe not even by us, by someone else, we are happy about that. We've done our service to society. Pretty much every market we go in, we raise awareness big time. Do we get all of those patients? No, and that's perfectly fine. We want patients to be aware. We want physicians in the community to be aware of PAD and actively look for it. Actively look for wounds and or leg pain in all your arterial paths. Actively take off those oxygen shoes, look for wounds. Actively ask patients about leg pain. Leg pain's a, a, a nebulous sy a symptom. It often masquerades as many other things, arthritis or restless leg or something. It's oftentimes PAD. So we're very big. Now, the question, how do we raise awareness? It's a more difficult question to answer. We have excellent educational collateral. We have an excellent comprehensive poster that's simple, aesthetically pleasing, goes over everything. Trifold that corresponds with the information on the poster. We love putting these up in physicians' offices and exam rooms and distributing them. The more people that see these patients, providers, the more the awareness of PAD will increase. We love doing educational seminars at physicians' offices, at nursing homes, at uh, outpatient facilities, you name it. PCP's office, multi-specialty groups offices, because the more we can raise awareness of PAD, the more likely they're gonna find the PAD and um, send the patient for proper evaluation. Hopefully to us, but if not to us, no problem. To someone where the patient will get the appropriate care early. So we're very, very big on education. If you're watching this and you're referring to physician office and you'd like us to do a uh, educational seminar for you for PAD, we can absolutely do that. We can do them in person. These days we're doing a lot via Zoom because of uh, the pandemic and COVID precautions, no problem. No cost, this is part of what we do for the community. Raise awareness, no strings attached. If you want to refer patients that, have, that you think might have PAD to us, wound and or leg pain patients, we would welcome them. Even if you don't, no problem. We want you to find those patients and send them somewhere so they get the appropriate care. If it's with us, if it's with someone else, either way, we wanna raise awareness and have those patients get treated appropriately early.